Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite growth hacks on LinkedIn this year. So let's jump right into this. So the first growth hack I want to talk about is how do you get data of your first degree connection? So let's jump right into it. So what you want to do is once you logged into your LinkedIn, click on your name and then we're going to go to settings and privacy and then click on privacy and then scroll down and look for the section called how LinkedIn uses your data and scroll down and you're gonna see an area called getting a copy of your data. Now a couple of things, one, LinkedIn has changed this so many times. So if by the time you watch this video, if this looks different, don't panic. Just reach out to me, leave me a message, leave me a comment and I'll be able to help you find uh, the new the new layout based on the new layout, whatever the change is to. Because in last like one year, I've seen this change at least like twice. So they make these changes a lot. Now you do have a couple of options here. Uh, to get your data, your, the first option is you can down, download larger data archives. So for that, you would click right here. Or actually, I just did this a few hours ago. Uh, or you can download something in particular. So for, for example, I downloaded connections and imported content. So, and it took LinkedIn about 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, the uh, archive was ready. And then I was able to download the data in like CSV file. Now, I know you're probably thinking, is this going to give us email addresses? So used to be a couple of years ago, we could download all the email addresses of our uh, LinkedIn connection, the first degree connection. It was really easy from the data download, but that's not happening anymore. What LinkedIn is doing is they basically let people choose whether their email address is uh, public or not. So based on that setting, so when you download your data, you will have some email, some emails of your first degree connection, not all. So for example, when I downloaded this archive, so let me actually show you, uh, and basically this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna give you a zip file, and when you unzip, it's gonna create, for me, I created connections and contacts, because that's those are the two things I downloaded. So look at this, connections and then the contacts, right? And then when I, let me close this, when I look at my co uh, connection, so look at this. So this is what the data uh, looks like. So I have first name, last name, and some email addresses. But in my case, I probably had email addresses of about 20, 25% of my first degree connection. So who knows, it, it just depends. But do, you know, do give it a shot. It's free, it's your data. You can request a, an archive from uh, LinkedIn and then download it and then see how many email addresses you have. Because once you have the email addresses of your first degree connection, it can be very powerful because you can create compelling, don't spam them, okay? You can create compelling email campaigns uh, for your audience or you can also reach out to them one, one by one because likelihood of someone responding to an email compared to responding to a comment or a DM on LinkedIn is probably very high uh, when we send them an email. And then also you can sometimes create Facebook custom audiences based on this data. So there's a lot of uses to it. All right, so that was our growth hack number one. You can get the data of your first degree connection and some email, not as much as many emails as uh, LinkedIn used to provide us. Now, there is a, a solution actually to this. Uh, if you don't get a lot of emails from your first degree connection, there is a tool called or uh, app called scrap.io so this is our gonna be uh this is gonna be our growth hack number two so scrap.io basically you can uh extract emails uh from linkedin from your first degree connection actually other people as well and we'll do a quick demo right now so let's look at there they do have a freemium plan i believe on the uh, on the free plan you get 150 emails per month for me that's a lot because i do b2b uh, by uh, reach out to people uh, for my services so uh, 150 emails per month is really good number for me but if you want more you can obviously upgrade now what you want to do is a couple of things obviously create an account and then sign in and you do want to download their chrome extension so they have a chrome extension right here so make sure you number one scrap.io number one create an account free account number two I download their Chrome extension. I already have it and it, it looks like right like this right here, right? All right, so let's go back and I'm already signed in. So once you create an account and have the Chrome extension, we're going to go to the dashboard and let me show you what this looks like. It's a really easy tool to look at, but the good thing is this tool allows you to capture emails of your first degree connections. Very powerful. Now, when you log in, so there you can uh, do the search by domain 
email finder, bulk finder. Those are a couple of features. We're not going to focus that on today, uh, this video. We're going to look at new lists, uh, these list section. So basically based on, so for example, I created a list of CEOs of Dallas because I was extracting emails of people who are CEOs and based in Dallas. And then also I created a list and you can, if you want to make a new list, you'll just click on this and make a name. Uh, and then I created a list of my LinkedIn connections. So this is where I was extracting emails of my first degree connections uh, from LinkedIn. Now, how do you do it? So here's some that I did a uh, couple of weeks ago. Now, how do you do it? Let me do a quick demo. So I'm gonna go back to my LinkedIn and the Chrome extension is installed, scrap.io. And I'm gonna click on my network. And then let's go to my connections right here. And the reason we created a list on the dashboard, it's gonna, once we extract the emails, it's gonna add all those emails to uh, uh, that list. That's why the, that's very, very powerful. Now, he, these are my connections. I'm gonna uh, do a filter. So let's do a quick filter and let's say, or actually let's, I want everyone. So, so look right here, this is what you're looking for. So with the Chrome extension install, it's gonna give you an option right, option right here, buyscraft.io, export with email finder. And I did the page one recently, so I'm gonna go to page number two. So I'm gonna go to page number two, but you can do you know page by page. So now I'm gonna click on export with email, and this is it, this is magic. So now, the, the first option is select a target list. So you can either, if you don't have one, you can create one. So this basically means once you extract the emails, where do you wanna put those? So I wanna store those emails in this list right here called my LinkedIn connections. And uh, this is again, really, really cool. Pages to export, I believe on the free one, you can only, yeah, you can only export one page. Uh, but if you have a paid account, you can do more, right? All right, so, Let's scroll down. So search for email address, that's what we want. And then save leads with the found emails only. So only save people once we have found their emails, right? So uh, with that, we're gonna click on launch email finder. And now it's looking for emails and you see how, so it found four emails and four people are saved to my list. So, and it, it, there were about 10 people. So it was only able to find, so the, the match rate is like 40%, but that's still good. Cause if you had, let's say uh, 10,000 connections and with 40%, that's 4,000, that's still a lot of people. So uh, leads saved successfully in this list. So when I click on this, it'll take me back to the dashboard and I will be able to Yes, so it added, I believe these four people right here. And the good thing is about this tool, look at the ver uh, the verification. So based on different email, sometimes it's able to tell us that if that email is verified or not. That is very powerful. Sometimes it's not able to verify it, but that's fine. Uh, the main goal with the, what I like to do with this tool is extract emails of the first degree connections. So in addition to first degree connection, so we did a demo of first degree connection, you can also uh, search for your target audience. So let's say I want a uh, VP of marketing. So I want to reach out to people who are VP, <laughs> not VO. I want to do VP. So let's say I want to reach out to people who are VP of marketing uh, and then look at this. And not my first degree connection. Let's say I want to do second degree connection. That's a lot of people for 400,000. But since I live in Dallas, I only want to look for people in, let's say, Dallas. Because my agency, my social media agency is based on that. So 25,000 people, very powerful. Now I can do the same thing. I can use this extension to find the emails of these people and then add these to lists. And again, you know, there's so many. And actually, if you upgrade, use the, uh, the pro version of Scrap, there's a lot of campaigns you can create. I use the free version because that gets the job done for me. Once I have the email, I reach out to them or you, you can uh, use those emails in your email marketing campaigns or maybe to your uh, inside your Facebook custom audience if you have a good match rate. All right, so that was our growth hack number two. Number one was how to extract the data of your first degree connection from LinkedIn. Number two was how to use a tool like scrap.io to get emails of your first degree connection and also other people, your target audience on LinkedIn. And uh, scrap.io is a freemium tool, but you can do a lot with the free plan. So two growth hacks down. Number three growth hack is 
actually this is to increase engagement on LinkedIn. So one of the tactics is what you want to do is when you are on LinkedIn, there are a lot of people in your niche that are influencers. For example, right here. So I'm in marketing niche and she is a, she is a huge influencer. She has like 20 times more audience or actually maybe hundred times more audience than uh, myself. Um, but once I go to, this is her content. If I go to her content, I look at this. So she had 70 comments. So the growth hack really is start engaging inside comments of people who are influencers in your niche. So what I can do is just kind of go through uh, this right here, her, the comment, people who are leaving comments on her, and it's kind of like uh, start talking to them, maybe engaging with them, uh, asking questions. You know, the thing you want to remember is don't spam and don't just like pitch your services because that's not cool. Uh, what you want to do is engage in a really authentic manner. And the best way I like to do is sometimes I like to ask a question. Now, why this is powerful? Because what, then you're engaging with two people. One, you're engaging with, let's say if I decide to engage with Suzanne, then I'm engaging with her, and also I'm engaging with uh, 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 Shay's content, right? So what happens when you do this on a consistent basis, this increases your engagement, because a lot of these people will actually come back, and they'll add you on LinkedIn as your uh, first degree connection, or send you a request, or your overall engagement on LinkedIn will go up. So uh, step number one is find influencers in your niche who are creating consistent content and also getting a lot of engagement. And then step number two is go inside their comments and then talk to people who are leaving comments. Uh, very, very, this, this is something that I've used to increase my engagement, attract a lot of people uh, to my audience. Look at this, for example, right here, I can count my friends on one hand, their family, and we will do anything for each other. So I'll probably say, same here. I also have a small but closed list of friends. And always keeping them forever. Like that. Right. What you don't want to do, and again, you know, I don't, I'm not calling out these people, but you don't want to say just great post or like, because that's not like meaningful engagement. What you want to do is leave meaningful engagement. All right, now let's look at one other example. So Jackie, she's also a really big influencer, B2B SaaS. So she created this uh, piece of content about it being transparent. I was actually reading this earlier. So I'm going to scroll down to her comments. So look at this. So this person right here, uh, he leave the comment. This is why it's important that we have transparency, a positive attitude. Uh, so I would probably engage with and I'll just kind of ask, uh, so true, if we are not so if we're not transparent, no one will trust us. So obviously it's more, I'm not just saying like, uh, like it, good post, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually adding some value. So if, you, if we're not transparent, no one will trust us and, uh, trust us and no trust equals to no business you get the point right and again you know to summarize look for influencers in your niche who are creating content go to their content engage with them obviously but then also leave comments on their comments and sometimes if there's an opportunity ask questions because those some of these people will come back and add you and your overall engagement will go back up so that was our growth hack number three growth hack number four is really really cool and it's actually to do with the ads and uh, we're not gonna cover ads a lot in this um, this video, but you're able to see your competitors' ads that they're running on LinkedIn. How cool is that? So just let's do a quick example. Let's just say um, Dell. So I'm just gonna pick Dell. Let's say uh, I go to Dell's company page. What you wanna do is search for the name and the company name, and you wanna go to their company page, and then you're gonna look at and I just picked Dell as an example, but you can make a list of your competitors, especially if you're in B2B, B2B space, and you can go start going to their LinkedIn company pages. So for Dell, I'm gonna scroll down and look for this section called ads right here. So when you click on this, boom, 
you're able to see all the ads that Dell is running. And sometimes, you know, by looking at your competitors' ads, uh, you can see, you know, what type of uh, images they're using, what type of videos they're using. Maybe sometimes they're doing like new product launches. Uh, sometimes they're doing like different type of contests for lead generation. And other cool thing is, you can see their ad, you can spy on their ads, but also when you click on this, it takes you to the landing page. So in addition, to uh, their ads you can also spy on their funnel so look at this so very cool so dell was probably a bad example because it's a product company so they probably have a lot of like sales ads but if you look at your competitors uh, uh, ads you'll probably see what type of landing pages they're using and on their landing pages what type of language they're using what type of copy uh, what type of images what type of videos or what type of offers they have to capture email so you can learn a lot about your uh, their ads and also their marketing funnel so uh that's it guys that's what that's what i wanted to cover in today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions uh, leave a comment or reach out to me and again you know to summarize uh, these are the four growth hacks that i'm using actively on linkedin and working really well number one is uh, we're able to get the data of our first degree connection from linkedin number two is we can use apps and tools like scrap.io to get the emails from linkedin so that's very powerful number three is we can we can increase the engagement uh, of our linkedin by engaging with our influencers but not just their posts but the people who are leaving comments on their posts and number four is we can spy on anyone's ads on linkedin thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye